more than 50 Republicans insist Biden submit to cognitive tests. You know, I had this I had this argument with people on Normie Book. Everyone knows that 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 Biden is in a decline. You know, some might say dementia. I definitely see some some of his symptoms of dementia. He possibly have dementia. But uh, uh, Democrats are ignoring it. I mean, he's clear signs. We saw it at the beginning when he was first running. Um, but before we get started, go ahead, hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my merch store. All right, let's talk about this news. More than 50 Republican members of Congress have written Joe Biden asking him to take a cognitive test immediately because of lapses that have appeared repeatedly in his behavior. I mean, it's so much stuff. It's tons of things I could name that he that he been doing, like shaking, handshaking the air. He looking lost, wandering around. His wife having to uh, walk him around because he looks lost, wandering. Tons of symptoms that that comes with dementia that he's displaying forgetfulness um it's it's just crazy but quote we are worried about um uh, we're worried about mental health abilities says the letter the third such letter that has been sent to biden since he took office he refused to respond to the first two and, and i vaguely remember them um um the democrats was talking about trump and trump took a cognitive test so they wanted Trump to take a cognitive test who wasn't displaying anything. But you have uh, um, a Biden in office who's older and definitely displays symptoms of a mental decline. And they're, they're not wanting him to do anything about it. But the letter explains that all presidents, regardless of gender, age or political party, should follow the example set by President Donald Trump and document and demonstrate sound mental abilities. That was not documented, the letter explained, during a recent annual physical for Biden. The letter points out that Biden was sent letters on this issue in June 2021 and last February. Quote, you have not replied to either of these letters, the members of Congress charged. Quote, since then, the American people have continued to lose faith in, their, in your ability to effectively and com competently handle your duties as president of the United States, the letter said. The document pointed out 66% of voters think he should take the test. 56% of voters are not confident that uh, Biden is fit for office. And 64% of voters believe you have shown signs that you are too old to execute duties. Even leftists are agreeing, the letter noted. Uh, not on Normie Book, though. <laughs> I'm going to clear that up. But, quote, the left-leaning New York Times recently published an article outlining all of this in great detail, according to New York Times. The increased scrutiny surrounding your cognitive state has been fueled by your recent public appearances, during which you shuffle your feet when you walk, often slur your words, lose your train of thought, have trouble summoning names, and appear uh, momentarily confused. And that's true. And all of those are signs of dementia, I might add. It was during his recent trip to the Middle East uh, where Biden, again confused, insisted, we quote, keep alive the truth in honor, the, in honor of the Holocaust. The letter explains these recent gaffes are not isolated incidents as uh, they are part of a larger history of your actions which exemplify cognitive decline. The Alzheimer's Association lists changes in mood and personality, including being more easily upset as one of 10 signs of mental decline. You display this type of mood change during a cabinet meeting in January 24, 2022, when you apparently did not know your microphone was on after finishing your opening remarks, and you use profanity to refer to a member of the White House press corps in response to a question asked on inflation. I remember that. They go on to say that further in December 16, 2021, press conference with the White House um, Stupid 19 response team, you appear to be unable to read the numbers in front of you when attempting to announce the total number of population who have received a booster shot. You said 57, excuse me, 570. I don't want to read it. I'm not sure I got the number right. Before being corrected by Dr. Anthony Fauci with the right statistic, which was 57 million. 
Signers include Rep. Ronnie Jackson, Jim Banks, Elise uh, Stefanik, Mike Johnson, Doug Lamborn, uh, Judy Heiss, uh, jo uh, Judy, Jody uh, Arrington, Luis Gomar, and dozens more, including several doctors. Fox News reported the letter was signed by 54 up from 13 on the first letter and 37 since last fe uh, February. After the report noted, Politico reported last month that Democrats are privately raising concerns about Biden's age as he approaches um, octogenarian uh, uh, status. And the New York Times reported that Biden's age is a deep concern for Democratic officials. Um, DJHJ Media reported, quote, when President Trump was in office, Democrats insisted he needed to take a cognitive test which he did, not only passing, but act, um, but acing it. Now, over 50 Republicans want Biden to do the same, but the Democrats are bark, balking. Don't think, um, don't they have faith in feeble Joe? And that's a great question. And, and that's what I alluded to earlier, that uh, Trump took the test with no problem um, and and no issues. But why, why won't they let um, Biden take the test? But let me know what you think. Leave comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out DemarcRepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.